let's just take this one at a time. So if you're having pain in your left hip area, let's just say it's been going on for a while, that's because the left hip area is damaged and nutritionally you're not able to repair it. So you need to stop damaging it. 20 miles walking each week, you gotta stop it, stop it. I would say at most, maybe you should be walking around the block. That would be like an eighth of a mile. I would just skip the bike riding totally. Minor weightlifting and strengthening exercises daily. I don't know what that means, but let me tell you what you should do. You need to do leg strengthening exercises, especially hip exercises. You need to do hip range of motion exercises. That would be the place to start, hip range of motion exercises. Um, I would recommend attempting the windshield wiper hip exercises. You can find those uh, online in videos, but that's what you should do. And maybe start off with one rep and see and build up. You need to do that you need to build up to, I would say, 10 reps daily. That's your goal. But start with where you are. And if it hurts, then you need to back off. I would also maybe put some topical turpentine on the hip. Turpentine once a week, uh, spit in the ocean. You need to up that to daily. And you can get the Candida Cleaner Report and review that for your dosing there. Uh, three bad moments a day. Two to three. No, you got to go up to three. That's important. You need three bad moments to dump the trash that's causing the pain in your hip area. Um, daily juicing a smoothie, very bad. That is dissolving your joint and making your pain perpetual and worse. So stop the juicing, stop the smoothies. If you want to eat a piece of fruit, eat a piece of fruit. Don't juice it, don't smoothie it. Pigtails and feet once a week. Wrong. <laughs> uh, definitely a spit, another spit in the ocean there. Um, you need to eat the... Um, I would say I would not do pigtails. That's not going to solve your problem. Pig feet might help, but pig ears would be better. And I would do it daily. And I would do at least four to eight ounces. Bad habits. Eat cheese, deli meats. You're not going to cure with this because the cheese and the deli meats have a lot of um, bacteria in them and microorganisms. And those microorganisms are literally um, going to your hip area and maintaining your pain. So I would, for now, stop the cheese and deli meats. You can go back to them later. But instead of cheese and deli meats, I would just add more salt to your food. And alcohol, forget it. <laughs> All bets are off. So you've got to, um, I don't know how much alcohol you're drinking. If you're drinking a lot, like say, I don't know, more than two drinks a day, then you can take it down to off. Um, if you are drinking a small amount, like, I don't know, two drinks a week, just quit it. Um, so what the alcohol does is the alcohol destroys your joint directly, but it also destroys your liver. I won't say destroys your liver. It impairs your liver so it can't process the impurities that need to be processed in order to fix your hip. So there you have it. Your life has been greatly simplified. Yeah, yeah, that's what you need to do. All right, we have a lot more questions here, but uh, we are out of time. So we're going to have to pick up these questions a little bit uh, later. Well, we'll see you in a week. And as always, think happens and be your own master because if you're not, everyone else will be.